On the hill today for the Giants will be the 32-year-old 10-year veteran, Alex Wood. Still looking for his first win this year. He's been good, 2.87 ERA and 15 and two-thirds innings. He's had to fight through a couple of injuries, but he is healthy, and uh, he will be allowed to get up right around 100 pitches today. It'll be Bertie, Soler, and then Garrett Cooper. And that's how this game gets started with a strikeout. 273 batting average against Southpaws for Solaire compared to 217 against right-handed pitchers. And this one is hit well down the left field line. A long way out for Solaire. Can't make this stuff up. What a way to start the first inning. A long home run. That is now the ninth home run that he has hit in a Jesus Luzardo start. That's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. It is a phenomenon, isn't it? And something the Marlins do not do often, and that is score in the first inning, but a quick run here on a long home run for Solaire. So here's Garrett Cooper. Got him. You always like to strike out the first guy you face after a guy hits a home run on you, and that's exactly what Wood does. And a good tight breaking ball, and he gets Cooper to swing right over the top. Here's De La Cruz. On the ground to short, Crawford charging. And on the move, he throws him out. So the home run by Solaire. Giants are coming up. Numbers on Jesus Luzardo this year. This will be his 10th start. Marlins against 7 and 2 when he takes the ball. Wilmer Flores takes a first pitch strike, and Luzardo's day is underway. Luzardo deals an 0 2 pitch and registers his first strike out of the afternoon. Good look at that slurve. And so far, two up, two down, two strikeouts for Luzardo. Here's J.D. Davis. There's a walk though, so he is aboard with two outs. Now Mitch Hanniger. Good pitch for Luzardo. Three K's in the inning. Two outs. And here's Bailey. 3-2 pitch. High drive. Left field. Out of here. And this game is tied. <laughs> Caused the baby to start crying. Mom's got to get up and clap. And that was no cheapy either. Got his first big league hit yesterday and his first major league home run today. One and two to Crawford's. Swung on and missed. And we will be right back. Bailey goes deep to tie things up. And now seven up and seven down for Wood after the Solaire homer in the first inning. And John Birdie. Well, Birdie will take that on a bouncer up the middle that went off the glove of Wood. Here's Jorge Solaire. So well, they, they, they called a balk right there, so that was a no pitch. And Birdie's going to go up to second base. Wood was arguing, and I did not see it. Probably didn't stop. Cannot drop the ball, drop your glove down, and then bring it up even a little without stopping it. I mean, it's, it's not possible. In the air, right field, moving over Yastrzemski. That's going to drop. Birdie's going to score. It looked like Yastrzemski was in the neighborhood, but it fell in front of him. And because of the infield hit and the balk, it's two to one. One ball and one strike to Cooper. And a bouncing ball towards short for Crawford. Stays down on it and makes the play. But the Marlins with a little two-out rally. Rice Johnson fouls one back to the screen as we start the last of the third. The Giants trailing two to one. He drives this one to center field, but now going back is Burdick. And it's over his head. Burdick totally misread that. Boy, it's rare that you see an outfielder make that large of an error in judgment to the depth of a fly ball. And the Marlins bring the infield in for Tyro Estrada. On the ground, fair ball, tie game. He kicks off that side wall, and it's two to two. You know, I don't know if the Marlins had Birdie playing back. Uh, this ball may have gotten by him even wherever he played, but when you pull it in, I mean, you just don't have range. Here's Davis, who drew a walk in the first. High drive, center field, out of here! And the Giants take the lead. So that's his first home run off a lefty this year. Yeah, and he hit that, and he stood there at home plate, and you could read his lips, and it said, I got your splits. Sean, <laughs> he gets a belt-high mistake, and he just rifles it into the stands, and he do it right out of bed. Two away, but Wood has been good. This one is good Wood down the line. And that is a home run for Nick Fortes. It's been a while since I've been to this ballpark, but I don't ever remember the ball flying as much here. As it is flown today. 
He clobbered that. And able to keep it fair down the left field line for another home run. That ball left his bat at 106, and we talked about the fact he's getting his second consecutive start today. And you know when you play a couple days in a row, you start to get some reps underneath your belt, and you start figuring out what you're doing. He knew he had enough of it. Hampson dribbled one out in front of the plate. It was thrown out by Bailey. Pop fly. Can anybody get there? Yes. Dives. He's got it. The inning is over. Well, he sells out for it. He lands hard. And that is a big, big play. So the Marlins have a couple aboard here with one out in the fifth inning. So it's Solaire who also had an RBI single on a bloop out toward right. That's a fair ball down the line. Kicks off the wall. Edwards is going to score. Birdie toward third. And Solaire does it again. We're tied at four in the fifth. I mean, this guy is just a beast in the batter's box. Barely fair, but he goes down and he almost went to second base. He thought that he was going to throw the ball to second, but once he went to third, Solaire could have just cruised into second. Here's Brian De La Cruz with runners at first and third with two outs in the fifth inning. Solaire goes, and now he's caught in between first and second. Birdie in a run down at third now. Bailey's got it. High throw to Schmidt. Back to Brebbia. And a battle of attrition here. Schmidt <laughs> is going to pass it over to Bailey, who finally applies the tag. Birdie just too fast. But the Marlins tie it up. J.D. Davis against Lusardo. Base hit down the left field line, high over the head of the third baseman, Birdie. Off the car out there, and a double for J.D. Davis. So now here is Hanniger, who has struck out and grounded out to second. Base hit to right field. Now a real strong arm out there, but here comes Davis, and Soler will not try to get him. And the Giants go back ahead, 5-4. to four. Mitch Hanniger going the opposite way comes up with the money hit. Look at the bend that he had. If he tries to pull that ball, he rolls it over. Schmidt pop fly late break from center and that falls base hit. Hanniger had to go halfway and no further. Not sure whether it would be caught or not. So he stops at third. The bloop single for Schmidt. So now Patrick Bailey he bunts it. And that gets the run home. The safety squeeze. Tagged out by Nardi, and the Giants add a run to make it six to four. That's a smart play. Here's Schmidt. He's one for three today. Line drive, base hit. Hanniger is going to run. De La Cruz drops the ball. An RBI single for Casey Schmidt, and it's 7 4. Two hit day from Schmidt. And this is a two strike RBI. Camilo Duvall is going to come in to try to get the final three out. It's been hot. 11 saves out of 12 opportunities. And here is Solaire. Mike Yastrzemski. And that's the ball game. Take it, he did not. And the Giants, really fun ball game. They win by final of 7-5, and uh, on this homestand, they go 5-1. and one.